As people, we have the innate ability to compare ourselves in everything we do to what someone else is doing or has done. We constantly compare the beginnings of our endeavors to someone else's middle, our middle to someone else's end. And when you do that, you will find that you are never satisfied. You will never be good enough and you will always struggle to celebrate your own accomplishments. Wherever you are in life, with whatever you are doing, you are going to be ahead of some and behind others. And that is okay. Own where you are. Take time to embrace and celebrate that. Continue moving forward. And never compare your beginnings to someone else's middle. So after a pretty uneventful day at sea from Vulcano to Cefalu, we are now arriving in the bay of Cefalu. Everything's quiet and we lost a lot of fuel on the way. We'll try to get a spot in the anchorage because we do not want to go to the harbor. We want to continue to Palermo soon. So just a few days in Cefalu, maybe one or two. Check out the town and then head off. Five meters, sand, perfect. We heard that in Cefalu, when you anchor too close towards the marina, they will call the coast guard and ask you to move. So we try to stay away from them. We are pretty far away, I guess. There are boats that are closer to shore and closer to the marina. There's a big rock over there. Maybe we have a chance to tie up with landlines again. If not, we're gonna use the stern anchor. I guess that's the way to go here. Snubbers on, we can turn off the engine. There has been a lack of wind for days now, and there is another windless week still ahead of us. The plan is to cross over to Sardinia soon, and we are waiting for the perfect weather window. After months of weather observation, we've learned that east winds are a rare phenomenon this late in the season, which makes trying to go west a challenge to say the least. The good news is that east winds are coming soon. We have two options. Stay put, work, and then use the winds to sail west along the north coast of Sicily, or use the engine to go west as quick as possible and then use the winds that come to cross over to Sardinia, which will be a two-day sail under the right conditions. In an unheard of experiment, we're dropping the stern anchor right at that rock. Straighten up against the swell that's coming from outside. Swell is nothing against a stern anchor. We are currently on anchor under the rock of Cefalu, next to the marina. The anchorage is quite nice. We had a few okay nights here. The swell comes in though, because the breakwater of the marina isn't that long. Actually, all of Sicily is quite open and we try to move quickly because honestly, we don't really feel the places here, at least not by boat. Places are scattered, so you have to make good route planning and the weather has to be in the favor. Otherwise, it's gonna be horrible. When we arrived a few days ago, the water was quite murky, which was mainly because of cold water springs mixing with the seawater. There's a spring right under the rock. People said it's because they dumped sewage. I don't believe that, because now, for whatever reason, the water is crystal clear and we can actually see the bottom. I started to implement the tracks that we actually sailed from Anchorage to Anchorage from our Navionics onto the Google My Map inspired by our friends of Elmo. Tias and Sarah have a great map. I'm going to link this one as well. They have all the information on all the places in the map they went to. So check those out and if you want to see where we are and where we are going then you can see those little things on the map on our website. Moving forward as we are in Cefalu today we want to go west to end up in Sardinia at one point and 
there are no wins until the end of the week so we are going to motor all the way maybe past Termini Imerese which is actually pretty well protected but we want to make more distance so we are going to Aspra and the anchorage over here Golfo di Palermo it's not the best but it's just a short jump towards Palermo so we have a full day there and uh, when we pay for a mooring we try to get the whole day so that's what we're gonna do and after Palermo we are gonna go to Favignana either the north or the south end depending on the winds and then make the jump over to Cagliari we just noticed the breeze the wind yeah a tiny tiny bit maybe five knots that's all we get today we're gonna use it got the stern anchor in the dinghy's up uh, engine check has not been completed yet should be a matter of minutes dishes are almost done set up the website put some new video online ready to go We noticed that when we are on 1.5 and we lift the anchor from a deep water anchorage the revs go down to 1.4 which means that the alternator actually takes all the power from the engine to power up the windlass which is 1500 watts. Always remember rev up your engine in neutral if you want to lift your anchor. Ground wind yes. and half a tank of diesel. Oh yeah, let's do this. Prediction said no wind for the whole day, so we prepared for a computer day, doing some research, and Mandy is actually sitting outside, well, also on the computer. Three knots. But five apparently, karma rewards nice people. Yeah. We're sailing. 5.3 knots with 6 knots of wind. Happy days. Happy days. We got so lucky today. We actually have wind. And after weeks of mainly motoring and swelly sleepless nights, there are moments where you start to wonder why on earth we chose this lifestyle. It always looks so great when you watch others do this, but reality is often quite different. But then again, days like these come and they remind us why we do it. Nothing beats that feeling of hoisting those sails, setting course and then enjoying the silence once you turn off the engine. How far are we? Yeah, about third of the way. Yeah. Well, we're on course and we're making progress. I'm not. Hi. Can't ask for more flat seas. No swell. And when seas are this quiet, we can actually work while being on the way. That is definitely the best office one can wish for.
Good morning. Today we are anchored right outside of Palermo, which is somewhere behind me. It's just a few miles. This is actually not the best spot to anchor. There was only rocks at the bottom, so our anchor is just in between rocks. But it's really quiet. There's no wind, there's no swell, there's nothing. So I had the best night's sleep in a long time because it's been swelly all the time here because everything's always really open. Anyhow, we're gonna go to Palermo soon. It is eight right now and at 10 we can go into the marina and spend the whole day in Palermo. And then at one night and then we leave tomorrow again and then go further towards Sardinia. And it is a beautiful morning. Look at this fantastic surroundings. It's just... Oh, the colors of the sky are good. There's a very cute town behind us. It's a pretty good spot to be honest. It's too bad that the bottom is so bad and you can't really get your anchor to set, but it still worked out for tonight. Let's see how Alex slept. How did you sleep, baby? Not so bad. Why not? Because <sighs> our anchor is not in, it's just lying on the floor. This is, people shouldn't say that they anchor here. That's my ritual. Plate of rock, and you just drop it there, and then it lies there. Mm -hmm. and then when you're lucky or unlucky, you find a little hole, and the anchor just starts going into it, and that's when you're stuck. Alex just started the engine and we are off to Palermo. It's only probably one and a half hours and there is no wind, so we'll be motoring. And then today we'll have a great day in the city. We have a lot to do. We have to get more diesel because unfortunately, lots of motoring. We need to provision a little bit, get some new water, clean the boat. Let's go. Darling, flowers were made for the garden. I think so. Of course it will. It That's the red. You can see the bottom now. Oh, they can't see it on the camera. Nothing more than just a handful of soil. We're free. Let's hit it, baby. with tears in our eyes. Decided it's best to lay this thing to rest. Darling. Flowers were made for the garden I'm not quite everything you need I beg your pardon Little bit of wind, not much But it makes us with the engine really quick Oh, we just heard a massive bang And it felt horrible in the cockpit Check the, the shop, see if everything's alright here Yeah How's the, uh, the belt? The belt? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know. The belt is fine. It's there. Alright. But we do have to check, see if there's a place where the water is clear enough so we can see something. Well, I'm gonna do it now. Now? Yeah. If there's nothing getting in the prop, we get something. Perfect. Everything's fine. Maybe we just hit something big somehow. It was just pushed away by the prop. Or by the hull? You don't know. I mean, it was a ball in the water, but it was a plastic bottle that can never make that hole. Okay, so the prop seems fine? Yeah. That's something. There you go. Maybe something. Well, either it's some wood or it's something that fell. No, that was not inside the boat. It was definitely outside. You could all feel the whole boat vibrating. Maybe we check when we're in the marina, we just go around the hall. Yeah. Yesterday we reserved a berth at City Mar Marina. As soon as we are in the breakwater, we can call in and we confirm our berth. So we are able to dock. City Mar Marina, this is Sailing Vessel Blue Juice, over. City Mar Marina, this is Sailing Vessel Blue Juice, over. 
Good morning. Um, we called in yesterday for a berth and uh, we are inside the breakwater now. Are we okay to proceed? We're just approaching the yacht pontoons and the city mama Rinero actually came by to wave at us. Alright, moved up to Rio Brampton. Always working <laughs> rear bumper. Yeah, that's a proper one. Yes, that's what we need. That's what we wanted. But we're so good that we don't need it. Is that yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. How did that feel? I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> it was my very first time docking in a marina. I normally only docked on like the really big town keys where you have loads of space in front. And here I had to make a quite small turn to get in, but it went really well. I'm a little bit shaky to be honest, which is ridiculous, but it's just my first time and then there's people watching you. And I'm very lucky because on the left there's a massive rib, which is this one big fender. So that side was fine. <laughs> it's really easy. So yeah, but all in all, went really good. I went in straight. Small spot. Proud of you. Gnarly Mandy. Did it. Say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. 